Mid-adolescence is a hard time in life. This is when young adults are trying to figure out their identity and what career to pursue. Developmental psychologist Eric Erickson said, Finding a meaningful sense of vocational direction is what most disturbs young people. I'm Eric Erickson. Let's explore the different ways in which we can help our students on their journey of finding a vocational purpose. Well, hello there, future teachers. You're here to learn about the importance of young adults discovering what careers interest them the most, and what a brave lot you are. The name's Edward Ucation, but you can call me Ed. I'll be drinking coffee the entire time, so strap in! Our journey begins with the three stages of vocational development. The first stage is called the fantasy stage, which lasts throughout childhood. For example, you might want to be a ninja. Well, let me tell you something about ninjas. So you want to be a ninja, huh, kid? <laughs> Don't waste your time. Masters of assassination and sabotage. Shadow mercenaries. We are called many things. But today, we're simply unemployed grown men in black jumpsuits. My name is Smoke. I was the best at what I did. I could pop out of the bushes and you would be all like, I had no idea there was a ninja there. The second step is called the tentative stage, which occurs during mid-adolescence. During this time, a young adult's thoughts about career reflect their own interests. You know you've always wanted to fly. The name is Captain Robert Colfax, and this beauty behind me is my Boeing 757. Well, I've always wanted to fly. The third and final stage is called the realistic stage when a young adult begins to explore their tentative choices. And there are four ways to do so. Four ways to find a meaningful vocation. Job Shadow. Students can learn more about a particular field of work by seeing it firsthand. Most job shadows last a day or a part of a day with a mentor at his or her place of work observing what a typical day is like. And now our eager young lad is going to spend a day with some of our city's finest officers of the law. I am Officer Jacobs. And I'm Sergeant Potter. Yeah, Officer McNulty. You know, we're always very excited to have youngsters come on ride-alongs. Gives them a decent glimpse into the life of a police officer. This way, young adults can understand that police work isn't all car chases and gunfights, but rather a public service. Wow, tell me about your truck! This is the canine unit. We use it to track down drug smugglers and chase down suspects who are way faster than we are. In the back? Well, that's Samson, our department's German Shepherd. If I give the command, he will literally rip your throat from your body. Do not make direct eye contact with him. Seriously. Look! Two guys trying to break into an ATM! Oh my god. Let's roll. I got the handcuffs. I got the black and white assault rifle. Better hold on tight, kid. It's about to get bumpy. Officer McNulty, Officer Jacobs, you guys alright? Do we have custody of the perps? Yeah, I got one of them, but, uh, looks like he's dead. Hey, where's the kid? Oh no, we didn't lose another one. Jacobs, you say him? Right here, officers. That was so awesome! I see a perp trying to get away!
Yeah, I see him too. Bring the rifle up, Sergeant. There's no way he's getting away with that $200. Take the shot, sir. You gotta take the shot. Vocational classes. Vocational classes focus on learning a skill or a trade that can prepare students for college or a career. Taking vocational classes in school is a good way to get a jump start on your future, whether it be finding a job or going to college. Research. Seeking out information on careers that interest you can lead to a better understanding of one's values and desires in a career. By connecting this information with your personal beliefs, you can find a meaningful direction. Internships. Students are given the opportunity to undertake a professionally supervised and planned work experience that relates to their academic strengths and career interests. An internship can be a truly fulfilling experience and give you the most accurate taste of what a career will be like. Today our young man begins his firefighting internship at the tender age of 14. But worry not. The boy is in the careful hands of a 20-year firefighting veteran, Gordon Baker. Yeah, worry not, Ed. He's going to be just fine. We're going to keep a good eye after him. Listen, intern, I know it's your first day and everything, but I think you're ready to fight a fire with us. Are you sure that's going to be okay? I mean, I don't have the proper equipment or anything like that. You know what? You're absolutely right. Let's get you a helmet. All better. Get on the hose, intern. Yeah. Yeah, hose it down. Really good job on that hose, intern. Very impressed. Super impressive for your first day. That really is a shame about the fresh produce store. They have the best tomatoes. Mmm-mm. Remember, it is important for us as educators to facilitate an environment that encourages the exploration of these vocational activities. It has truly been a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Have a great semester.